YouTube, it's your boy OGK and AME, aka the main man, aka Mr. McBrain, aka have your tattoo my name. And um I'll continue right now. If y'all can say this shit with me, I promise you it's gonna be an issue. Peep the cut. Last video, peep the cut. Mm -mm. Look at look at look at crispy clean. Crispy clean. Crispy cream clean. I'm not just playing. But uh I ain't put on nothing too. Cause I gotta go back outside, but you know what I'm saying? This is gonna be ten things that I can't live without. Do the rhyme twenty-eight. When I tell you about once it worked, let me get the first fifteen. Let me take a look at the scores. We was in the field getting killed. You know what I think? I actually might, you know. But anyway, we need to change this life. We're not doing this. We're getting to the first item. Now, first item. Going in at number ten. I feel like it's not too important, but I feel like it's like a very bad shit with you. Shoes, shoes, like my type of shoes. Lately, I've been getting a lot of, you know, fashion mode, but not too much. I'm gonna tell you, but these are my, like, one of my favorite shoes. They are so comfy, you know. They might not go with everything, but you know, so yeah, that's my number 10 item. Now, I got some more better shoes that can do a lot of things. But yeah, you know, that's to have me a good pair of shoes. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to be safe from this. I'm trying to burn. I go to the streets. I love the jacket. You just go with a lot of things in my world. But it means the first item. You know what I'm saying? Next one. Alright. Number nine. Now, this may not be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to hygiene, I have to make sure that I'm up here. Make sure I wake up, wash my face, you know. I don't gotta do too much. Sometimes I might have to, you know, put a little, little black soap on it. But for the most part, I be chilling. But um, when it comes to that breath, I don't fuck around with that breath. Back then, I used to, but I ain't even gonna expose myself like that. Back in middle school, oh, I'm talking about breath used to be kicking like Luke Kane. I'm talking about, just, oh, just, uh, I can't put my foot up there. Now, I'm, well, I can, but let me kick back the camera. Well, um, anyways, yeah, growing up, I was always taught to keep yourself up, clean, presentable, you know, all uh, that. It'll be days I'll be going to church. My mom was like, can't walk outside with that. I'm like, Really? And you definitely can't walk outside with your breath thing. So, number nine, I'll say gum. Because it helps with my anxiety. Because I ain't going to lie. When I start to get anxious and like, ugh, real jittery. Pop me about two, maybe three pieces of gum. Just to, just to chew and calm down. And also, just when I go somewhere, I got to make sure my breath smell good. Because you don't want to get inside a shouting face. And then be like, or just in general, get in somebody's face, ask them a question, and then your breath just be tangy. And some of y'all niggas know when y'all breath be stink. Y'all just choose not to brush your fucking teeth or use no fucking gum. Well, I'm telling you right now, use fucking gum. Hmm. Beat it. Hmm. I'll beat it. Or like some breath, breath spray something. Do something. Like, that's just, that's nasty. But anyways, we on to the next item. Alright, number eight. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is also not fair about it, but it's feel like this is what makes me, me like when I tell you I can't like you know Cause I don't like being like everybody else. So I feel like I gotta get something that stands out to me. And then growing up, I ain't like used to show my feet. So I always have on a pair of socks. But then it was just like, I don't want to wear no socks. I don't know, something just in me just made me not like wearing socks. 
I know plenty of black socks, unless I'm forced to do it like a dog. Well, coming in at number eight, all got to say crazy socks now. Or like graphic socks. When I tell you, bro, I can't walk out the house if I ain't got on at least a pair or something that looks Bro. My grandma got me this. Shout out to my grandma. I love you, Granny. She got me these, these chunky solid socks, bro. When I tell you, I've only worn these two times. But when I put on the fucking bitch, it's going. Mm. Bro, when I tell you, it's just like, I can't, I can't like walk out of the house and not, you know. Put on like some pair of crazy, but when I tell you more than I stop myself from going outside if I ain't got on some type of crazy or some, you know, it's just the, the differentiate myself. Yeah, that's what I'm going to next item. Item number seven. Now, I know this. But when I tell you, it's like, this right here, this right here is like top tier stuff that I like. Love, I love me some water. And that's going to be the seven item. I know it's stupid. But when I tell you, a good bottle of water has me feeling oh so good. My bad, y'all. Somebody getting pulled over again or something. But, um, wait a minute. Before I say this, did you like the video? I hope your bitch ass liked the video. If you didn't like this video, I'm going to come up to your motherfucking house and beat your motherfucking ass. That's bold. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! Boy. But, um, anyways, water. Got to, Got to have it on me. After I get done drinking like so much stuff, my body will be like, what a water at? Mm. It's quenching my thirst, what a water. And it's just like, I just love me some water. Growing up as a kid, I used to be a mm, sugar addict. Like, I can't go days without sugar. Like, and I'm not talking about like the daily dose that you need. I'm talking about just sugar in general. But then once I start getting put on what first it was just like little, I won't say sparkling water. It was like flavored water. Then I went to actual water. Or like just regular water. When I tell you that was got me. Now me and water just mm. But yeah. Love me some water. Love me some water. Well anyways, on to the next thing. Item number six. It's gonna have to be something that's like already set up. Cause when I tell you without this, I'll be you see that fan over there? That's my sixth item. Now I know what y'all probably thinking. Why a fan? When I tell you, I can't go to sleep in no heat. And if you a type of person that like your room lukewarm, warm, hot, you're, you're fucking weird. I'm sorry. How can you sleep hot? I remember them days when I used to get a whooping, then go then go to sleep. I'll be hot then. Them were good naps, but I was still sore waking up. Or if I was so tired after getting done playing, doing something, or if I was just tired in general, and I sleep on grandma's hot um sofa with the um plastic on. I know you know what I'm talking about. Grandma's sofa with the plastic on it. I'm talking about them be the best naps when you first wake up. Yeah, your face be stuck to the couch. You be <laughs> gotta. Then you gotta stretch, get your body off from peeling off the couch and stuff. And that, that couch was hot, but you weren't feeling it. You, you didn't feel it until like after the fact. So yeah, that's a that's one I could never sleep in no hot um, environment except for them two. Other than that, I love me to go to sleep in the cold. That don't mean I like winter. I like snow and all that, but when it start getting cold to the point where I be sick, can't fox, can't fox. But yeah, that's my six item. I gotta go back and see, making sure I'm counting right. But anyways, on to the next one. All right, 
Item number five. Now, I know a lot of people just got to be our number five or top five or something. When I like to be locked in, I like to be locked in. And all them outside noises be, you know, distracting. So I got to have something to lock me in. I can't sit nowhere just like, you know, I can't sit like doing a task for you without music. I've been learning and trying to like not do it. But if I can listen to music, I blast me up some music on my speaker, on my AirPods or just on the TV. So that's got to be my number five. And growing up, I always used to, you know, like I said, be different from people. I ain't used to be social. Like, y'all, everybody, most of the people who seen me during, like, middle school and going up to high school, they ain't really see it. But people who know me in fifth grade knew that I used to be quiet. But I could still, like, you know, express myself and stuff like that. It was just quiet child, like, not really, you know. And like I said, this is where, you know, them were the years where I was, like, starting to get to know myself, hygiene. That's why I said that gum thing, yeah. I ain't going to lie. There's a lot about me that y'all don't know. But, well, maybe. As much shit as I can tell them on here, maybe. Maybe you do know. But, yeah, number five got to be music. Can't can't focus without music, man. I'm talking about got to be jamming in it. And then it just helped me, you know, cope with my motion. And then you know you gotta have that song, like when you and your feelings, when you're happy, you play that on, you'll be straight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my number five. On to the next item. All right. Item number four. This is where I keep all my all my stuff that I need on the go. This stuff, you know, like I need my need my work card. Yeah, need my work card. So I just need my Navy Federal card. I know you see that that red color, that yeah, red. And for my. ID. Now I ain't letting y'all get no picture of my ID. It's crazy. I think y'all already seen it. You know, seen that I posted on. Yeah. Ooh, that ain't gonna be a picture. But yeah, can't. Can't even have my wallet. Me all. Most of my essential things. And I keep me a stack of gum in it. Y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that. Me my high school. They gave me a little high school diploma. In a little card thing. It's in a So yeah. This stuff on the go. And sometimes I used to stuff my keys in there when I ain't, when I couldn't. You know when. I know y'all had them pants where it was like. The pocket was so slippery. Everything kept falling out. But yeah. That's, that's the main thing that I can, you know, yep, can't even go out the house without my wallet now since I drive, I need my license, I license. I'm getting, going to jail now, cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dope, being a dope. I can't fucking fight y'all kids no more. I can't. Y'all kids fuck with me. I'ma just run you over. But you do just win. Oh no. But yeah, that's that item. Now we're going on to number three. Number three. Cause number three, I get to put all these in a broad um, categorization. But yeah, uh, it'll have to be entertainment, and it goes for like games, YouTube. Cause I I can't, hey. But I couldn't fit everything in like one thing, so I'm gonna just say entertainment for like. Cause back then, like I said, I used to not be social not talking to people so i either be on my game be watching youtube watching a movie or just you know listening to the music staying out of the way not really bothering people now i'm gonna bother you regardless if i'm listening to music or not but um yeah entertainment got me got me to where i am now 
and I'm thankful. Thankful for entertainment. I'm thankful for the number one thing. You know, I'm just thankful that I was able to have this growing up. Because if I didn't, I would have just been one of the weird kids just ready to off the whole school. No, I'm just like, ah, I might need to bleep this out. Man. These people gonna think I'm a damn terrorist or some shit. I'm just blanking. I'm just blanking. Damn, damn. Don't pull down the ball and dodge the ball. But yeah. Entertainment got to be number three. That includes my phone too. My phone over there on the charge. But yeah. On to number two. Alright. Number two. Valuable thing. You only get one of them. You only get one. Well, you can make multiple. But that's up to you if you want to pay child support. And no, I'm not talking about babies. Oh, niggas are wild. But I'm just going to pull up the picture right now. Number two, got to be family. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, even though I was one of them quiet kids, I love my family dearly. You know, I'll do anything for them. Well, almost everything, anything. I ain't gonna say I'll do anything for him, but yeah. And I was just growing up, I was a very family oriented person, you know. And that doesn't go for like just bloodline, that'll just go for like basically like good friend like relationships with people. Like my boy who I've been knowing for six plus years, AC, Humdu. And my boy, my other boy who you see in my video, Jay, him, is all these people. Even the boy, my boy who I showed y'all in my last video who was in uh, Mississippi. I think he come back today. Something like that. But yeah, just people like that who I consider family. Like, you know, because I ain't never like, you know, I ain't never been able to express myself to like my whole family, but I still keep them dear to my heart. And with my friends who I treat like family, they help me be able to express my love for my family genuinely. And it's good to have a good support system. And that goes both ways. I love my family dearly and I know they love me dearly. <laughs> oh, some of them. I love most of my family members. Other ones. They either, I either don't really talk to them as much, and that's fine, because I still got family all over the place, man, you know, yeah, I'm just, just thankful for the life that I gave me, and we on to the number one, number one thing I can't live without, anyways, you made it this far, comment, Aminsky, A M E N. S-K-I, I mean, but anyways, on to the last item. Now, before I talk about this, number one thing I can't live without, do not take, this is not a religious thing, this is, this is not like something I'm forcing nobody to believe in, to, no, this is something that I can't live without, the number one thing I can't, I wake up every day, I pray to him, I read my, read my little, Book dedicated to him. At first, I was reading the, the Bible, then I had gotten to this, which is basically around, centered around the same thing in the Bible. The same, you know, it's just easier for me to understand. Number one thing I can't live without God. God has been in my life ever since I can remember. He got me through tough situations. He made it my life better. He gave me this opportunity of YouTube and you want to say I thank you for having that in my life. And for some of y'all, y'all may, you know, may not believe in him, but well, hopefully today I can change that. If not, today I'm just having to pray for you, but the more I pray to him, the more I read, the more I just learn about him, the more I can be in touch with who I truly am and what I want to do with him. And that's what, as a he one of the big reasons why I started YouTube, because 
Like I said, I, I like to joke around, make jokes, have fun, you know, make other people smile, other people happy, see joy in their eyes, you know, put my homies on, make sure that they can eat, you know, put my family on, make sure they can eat, and just overall express myself to a vast amount of people. And then when people's like, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you I might, but then again, I might not. I don't know. And then God was telling me that, you know, if that's like, you know, what I want to do, I can. And he'll, so he'll put me through the ring and he'll see if, I, if I'm worthy enough to be as big as I say I need to be or I want to be. He gave me an opportunity to get this camera that I'm recording on. Give me an opportunity to get the card I'm going to soon have, maybe late April, late like early May. Late April, early May. I should have it by then. No, don't jinx me. I should. No jinx me. But, um, yeah. And throughout the years, he just made my life better. He just made my thinking better. My everything better. Man, I can't stress it enough, man. I keep God in my life. And I'm a much happier person. Going down dark paths. Mental issues. All types of stuff, bro. Right? And without him, I don't, I don't even think I'll be here. So, I love you guys. But anyways, let's get off that topic because I know some of y'all tearing up at home. But that's going to be the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching this video. Without that being said, it's your boy OGT Man. And I'm finna sign out. Mm -hmm.